All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very excited to share some insights about data migration within the life science industry and how Medidata does clinical data migration. I promise all of you get some valuable takeaways from this talk. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Krishna, working as an engineering manager in Medidata Solutions for the past four years. I started my career as an engineer 12 years ago and worked through different roles across different industries like healthcare, government, and public sectors. I have been leading and managing teams for the past six years. My passion has always been technology and working with people. I love exploring and learning new things. On the personal front, I'm a mother of two crazy kids and I really enjoy spending time with them. Let's get started. I'll start with a brief intro about Medidata, then what is CTMS and clinical data means. After, I'll be doing a deep dive into clinical data migration and we'll be concluding with best practices along with Q&A. Now let me talk about Medidata for a moment. Medidata is a growing company and part of Deso Systems. We are a globally distributed company headquartered in New York with around 2,500 employees. And Europe is the fastest growing market within Medidata. We are really having an impact by working together with clients, customers, and partners to provide a better quality of life to so many human beings, helping our customers provide new drugs that cure cancer and other serious diseases is really something that has a positive impact on society. And that really motivates me tremendously day by day. Bit more on Medidata. Top 13 out of 15 drugs sold in 2017 was developed using Medidata technology. Every time I read this kind of news and I see that one of our clients has launched a new drug, I'm obviously very proud and also very motivated because all of the drugs that have been developed by our partners and clients were touched by Medidata's platform. Here you can see some of the big and major brands who are part of the Medidata client base. Before going into the details of migration, let me give you a short brief on what is CTMS and what classifies as clinical data, which is a key pre-step before we delve into the details of the migration for this session. So, what is CTMS? CTMS is a market standard solution provided to CROs, that is clinical research organization and sponsors, who can conduct intelligent trials which enable them to roll out drugs to the market. Now, going to the diagram from left to right, on the left-hand side, we can see that there are two segments of data migration, which comes into Medidata Clinical Cloud. Medidata Clinical Cloud is a cloud native application and data ecosystem. First segment being, all the data which comes from electronic devices integration, otherwise called EDC, which is nothing but electronic data capture, which are used in trial sites, hospitals, and other pharmaceutical organizations. 
Second segment of data, which we're calling as other resources, comes from lab equipment, sensors, X-ray images, and electronic-based agreements. Second key integral part of metadata ecosystem is CTMS, which you can see here. CTMS consumes and publishes data in and out of metadata clinical cloud. It is primarily used by CROs or sponsors and other specific users within clinical industry to track and manage what study wants to be conducted, where and by whom. This is known as core study. How many patients, which we're calling as subjects, visited a site or a location calling subject visits? How many of them are enrolled on the trial? Track and measure around this. This is known as enrollment. What issues are faced as part of this trial process? Who and how to resolve? This is called issues and actions. What is the status, timelines, and progress of the trial? Known as milestones. Lastly, there are regulatory and country compliance requirements and standards, which has to be met as part of this entire process. By the way, for those who are interested, all this information is available on our website. So let's start with why. Why it is very important to have a clear data migration strategy. Because even if you build a near perfect technology platform, once bad data drives the platform, it can turn out to be a potential disaster and nightmares. This will result in difficult customer adoptions and retention issues, revenue impact, and lastly, incorrect and high volatile behaviors, which drives inaccurate analytics. So now let's talk about what is the vision and purpose behind data migration for metadata specifically around CTMS. As part of the vision, there are key three main goals which we wanted to achieve. How can we provide a seamless and unified data migration platform for our existing and new customers? How to provide an upgrade path for our existing customers from legacy systems to metadata clinical new platform to reduce cost and improve operational efficiency. Last and final goal being providing a single and 360 view of migrated data to our both internal and external customers through intelligent monitoring and reporting. As part of the migration strategy, key areas of risk and constraints which needs to be considered are potential data loss during migration because of cleaning, transformation, and various mapping activities. Various time-bound factors like time and duration of overall activity, overlap and sync of old and migrated data could create data inconsistencies between source and destination, which may potentially lead to data integrity issues as well. Lastly, capability or functionality gap between source and destination systems. It's a fact that we can't do a like-to-like -like match of all functionalities between source and destination. 
So it can end up in loose or consolidation of functionality and data in destination. Now, let me talk through the approach we have taken to achieve overall strategy and execution. As you see here, there are three key stages, analysis, development, go live and support. During the analysis phase, we have set objectives, scope and success criteria, along with identifying and engaging with key stakeholders and partners, which includes customers as well. Then we performed a detailed data analysis where we assessed data models between source and destinations, along with data quality. This generated data specification document, quality of data in source systems, mapping document, which captures data relationships between source and destination, and finally, capturing all customer journeys with respective data flows. Next key stage is development, where we build design, build, and test. As part of the design phase, we came up with high-level enterprise architecture. After that, we went through the buy or a build process, where we did technology or tool selection based on scale, complexity, ease of adoption, business value, cost, and time to market. Then we defined and documented all mapping and translation routes. During the build phase, we developed capabilities to extract data from different sources in different formats, transforming the same into a unified format which destinations can understand and also adhere to all mapping and business rules. Along with the transformation, we also built the capability to publish the data into destination systems in certain sequences so that data integrity was maintained. The most important part which we develop the solution is around the right level of instrumentation so that we can proactively monitor, measure the system availability and performance. Key challenge is not just building the solution, but to have a proper test strategy to test both sanity tests with smaller data sets and also volumetric data test. This test strategy was executed by a combination of both automation and manual spot test. Once we have developed the system or a solution and test strategy established, we ran several cycles of tests, issue identifications and fix till we meet our quality acceptance goal. In addition to system design and testing, we also built a reporting capability where user can identify, trace the data, follow and resolve the issues in a timely manner. This in turn helps to maintain the data integrity between source and destination and seamless customer experience. Last stage, which is critical stage, that is go live and support. This is the stage where we deployed the solution into production in an automated fashion, integrating with the centralized monitoring system. Before actual migration starts, we define a business process flow 
where every customer needs to go through a pilot run of a real customer data to check into and flow with all integrations is working as expected or not. Once the pilot run successfully completes, then we cleanse the customer data and perform actual migration. This is not a one day job and it's a cycle of activities, which happens over the time, which needs continuous care and support till we achieve our migration completion goals for each customer. A while ago, I found this image accidentally when we were going through a challenging phase of the project. Believe it or not, this is so true. No matter how big the migration, how well we plan, there will be always some surprises and challenges. So I would like to share some of the challenges we went through and how did we address them. First one, connect with key stakeholders. No matter the size of the migration, validate your assumptions with key stakeholders and explain the impact on them before you get going on the task. If you don't, it will backbite you at some stage and that will disrupt your timelines. Second key one, constant communication with the business. Once you have explained the project to the stakeholders, be sure to keep them informed of your progress. It's best to provide a status report on a weekly basis, especially if things get off track. Next being data governance. Be sure you are clear on who has rights to create, approve, edit, or remove data from the source system. And document that in writing as part of the project plan or define the clear process. If you ask me, this is the key for success, which is planning. Do not underestimate the analysis between source and target systems and understand at least 70% before planning. We went to development with a 40% understanding and resulted in good amount of changes in destination systems and behavior in a short time. This also generated rework during the development phase. Another important one to consider, having the right skills and expertise. Although this is the straightforward task, there is a lot of complexity involved in moving data. Having an experienced professional with excellent knowledge on both source and destination helps the process go smoothly. Next, don't wait for perfect spec. Make, make a start and go with 70% readiness. You have to iterate as you go along to reach the target state. Last but one, having a clear strategy and execution around testing. We made a choice to go with full automation, then realized it was too much of rent cost and it slowed us down. Then we went with the hybrid approach of automation and manual. Finally, not spending a good amount of time on dry run with real sample source data, especially data variations during development and release cycle. Lastly, I would like to share a few best practices that we have been doing. I think it is an important aspect to cover and give the opportunity to gain a little bit from our experience and understand what is working. 
So, tip one, understanding the data. Before starting the data migration, you have to prepare your data for the migration. Carrying out an assessment of what is present in the source system, understanding clearly which data needs to be migrated. We can divide the assessment of source system in two macro categories. Assessment of data meaning, assessment of data quality. Data meaning, every piece of data that you move is something that has to be validated, cleaned and transformed. In data migration projects, migrating only relevant data ensures efficiency and cost control. Understanding how the source data will be used in the target system is important and very much necessary for defining what to migrate. The second macro area is the assessment of the quality of the data. It is important to define a process to measure data quality early in the project. The quality analysis typically leads to a data cleaning activity. Cleaning the source data is a key element of reducing data migration effort. Tip two, project governance. The best for approaching data migration project is clearly defining roles and responsibilities and avoiding accountability overlapping. This can be done in several steps. Define the owner of the data in the target system. Include the business users in decision making. They understand the history, the structure and the meaning of the source data. Based on our experience, what makes a difference is the presence of business analyst. This is the person that acts as a bridge between the technical staff involved in the technical implementation of the migration and the business people. Tip three, rollback and dry run. A rollback strategy has to be put in place in order to mitigate risks of potential failures. Access the source data has to be done in read-only mode. This prevents any kind of data modification and ensures its integrity. Tip four, the importance of the data migration specification document. This document is the core of data migration. It ensures a complete field mapping and it is used to create all mapping rules and exceptions. This project phase is usually long and tiring for a number of reasons. Volume and amount of data details, technical activity with technical documents, little knowledge of dynamics of target database, compromises that have to be made. So some tips I can share to help you to do it in more efficient way. Clarify what has to be migrated and what shouldn't be migrated. Clean source data. This will reduce the number of fields to migrate. Liaise with business analyst. That will translate technical requirements and help to explain how data will work in the target system. Relay on data migration expert that have already performed similar data migrations in the past. Lastly, tip number five, perform comprehensive validation testing. To ensure that the goals of the data migration strategy are achieved, a company needs to develop a solid migration verification process. The data migration verification strategy needs to include 
ways to prove that the migration was successfully completed and data integrity was maintained. So to quickly recap, we have covered what is CTMS and clinical data. We also talked about strategy, vision, and purpose, constraints and risks, which comes as part of these kind of projects, and what approach we have taken. In the end, we also talked about challenges, learnings, and best practices. So as Steve Jobs says, teams comes first. One pillar is strategy. But the most important factor for success is team. I'm extremely happy to be part of such a great team in MediData, which helped us to achieve this goal. This is just the beginning of the journey. I hope this session has been very informative to you all. Thank you so much.